Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, on behalf of the ACLU and the tens of thousands of ACLU members in Massachusetts and millions of ACLU members nationwide, I'm so honored to be here. And I am so proud to be a resident of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts because we have a wonderful Attorney General who's willing to step forward and to join this case, this important constitutional <laughs> case, and to say that on behalf of all of the residents of Massachusetts, this shall not stand. I'm also really pleased to announce today our lawyers at the ACLU are going into court probably as we speak to file an amended complaint to include more people whose rights have been violated. In addition to that, an institutional plaintiff, Oxfam America, who you'll be hearing from later. And that's incredibly important because the lives at stake aren't only the lives of the people from these seven nations. They're the lives of all of us and all of the people who would come into our commonwealth and create the vibrant learning academies that we have and the vibrant economy that we have and the science and technology economy that we need to make sure that Massachusetts and America remain strong. This executive order is illegal, it's unconstitutional, and it's unpatriotic. It's also dangerous, as Attorney General Maura Healy just said. The ban violates people's fundamental rights. It violates their First Amendment rights, which prohibit the government from preferring or discriminating against people based on their religion. It violates the First Amendment right to speech because it prohibits academics and scientists and other people from having the opportunity to engage in the exchange of ideas that's so crucial to our economic well-being. It also violates people's 14th Amendment, which guarantees equal protection and due process under the law. It's just so clearly unconstitutional and we believe it will be struck down. It undermines public safety by shrinking our moral leadership across the country. An attack on an entire religion does nothing but fuel people who are opposed to the United States and who think that we don't stand next to the values for which we have stood since we were created as a nation and starting right here in Massachusetts. It's especially bad for Massachusetts because of our dynamic and high-tech, science-based economy. We need the talent from all over the world and the learning from all over the world. And this kind of an executive order undermines the health of our nation and of our commonwealth. The ACLU told President Trump that if he tried to bring unconstitutional policies into our country, we would see him in court. And the ACLU, along with the American Immigration Lawyers Association, the representatives of whom, of whom are here now, we met him in court on Saturday night, got an is order issued at 2 in the morning, and we won that temporary stay. Now that we have the power of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Office of Attorney General Maura Healey behind us, I'm even more confident that this order will be struck down permanently. And the fight is far from over. If we have to, the ACLU will continue to challenge this and other illegal, unconstitutional, and frankly unpatriotic moves by this administration in court every single time. Because we know that if we fight, we can win, and that's what it takes to ensure freedom and justice for all. Thank you.